a couple of months back, we took a look at another open source AI copilot, which was basically allowing you to have your own AI copilot integrated into your own workflow. AI copilots are becoming more prevalent as their use case is greatly increasing productivity and efficiency. Open Copilot would integrate with your underlying API and you would be able to execute API calls whenever needed. It uses large language models to determine if the user's request requires calling an API endpoint. Then it basically decides which endpoint to call and it passes the appropriate payload based on the given API definition. Now you may be wondering, why cover this again? Well, they had three new big updates that makes this copilot way better than before. Firstly, they have a new dashboard that is available on the cloud, which makes it easier to access. Secondly, you have a new upgrade to the planning engine. Thirdly, you can trace and see all chat conversations on your copilot. All of these new upgrades makes it easier for you to use this copilot for personal use cases, as well as allowing you to build a real product with this AI copilot that can execute things on your product or by text prompts. Now, basically, this is an assistant for your product, but on another level. Now, let's take a look at this example where the devs showcase a demo as to how you can create your own product's AI Copilot. Now, this is just one use case of Open Copilot. There are many other things that you can do with it, so don't think that it's just restricted for creating Copilots for products. But basically, in this example, you start off by uploading the files that you want the Copilot to work with. Then what the Copilot does is that it validates the data as well as the API endpoints so that you can embed it in other areas. It then recommends the best actions that are needed for it to become deployable. It allows you to deploy in various other cases so that the Copilot can help you edit, debug, generate, and complete many other actions for your product. This is just one example as to what you can do with Open Copilot. We can go on further to the example, which we can see on the right side of this video, where it says that it gives you a breakdown as to the sales of your product for on a monthly basis. It gives you recommendations. It gives you the top selling brands. And basically, it's just like an AI assistant that you work alongside to help scale, edit, or even generate various different things that you want to improve your product for. Now, throughout today's video, we'll uncover the true capabilities of this new updated Open Copilot, take a look at how you can access it, and so much more. So with that thought, guys, definitely stay tuned, and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to access our private Discord, where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, get networking opportunities, collaboration, daily AI news, you have various different AI topics being discussed on the Discord, as well as a lot of support, definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take another look at Open Copilot, which is a free and open source tool that lets you create AI Copilots for your products, whether that's a SaaS product or implementing into workflows to increase productivity and efficiency. The Copilot can communicate with your underlying API and it lets you execute calls as needed. It's currently open sourced and it's under the MIT license. It supports open API as a standard protocol. Now, what they're trying to do is that they state that they're trying to create a way for you to let your SaaS products users chat with your products functionality and execute stuff by text, a kind of AI copilot that can action. This is a way for you to let the copilot do various different things that is edit, debug, generate, and do so much more to increase the efficiency as well as the productivity of your workflow. Now, as I mentioned at the start, the reason why I wanted to cover Open Copilot once again is because of their new upgrades. Firstly, we have the upgrade of a cloud platform that you can access right now. It's completely free. You simply just click on try for free, create an account with Google or GitHub, and you're gonna be able to start creating your AI Copilots with Open Copilot. In this case, you with this dashboard, you have to learn uh, like category which lets you 
go to their documentation and it, there's a lot of crash courses that teaches you the best things that are needed to create your copilot. Now going back over here, you have a change log, which is another feature that they implemented. This lets you track different types of conversations. It lets you understand the planning engine as well as letting you trace and see all the chat conversations with your copilot. Now, this is one of the new upgrades that they implemented to increase the efficiency and the productivity of the overall copilot. Now, what you can do is you can just simply click, click on create a new copilot and you can start on creating your products copilot. In this case, you can move forward with the step and you can define the actions that you want. So you can upload different types of products, different types of files so that you can have the copilot chat or understand what you're trying to work with with the relevance that you give it. Now, in this case, I'm gonna define the actions and I'll be right back. So, so what I have done is I, I uploaded the Sager files that they have already created off their GitHub repo. These are just things or files that you can play around with to get a better feel as to what you can do with the open copilot. So I just uploaded one of their files, which is their market research data or their market data research file. So you upload the Swagger file you then click create copilot and you can see that it loads up but it doesn't move forward this is an error on their end this is something that they need to figure out as this is not letting me go to the next step but it's okay you can just simply go to the copilot tab and you can see that i created various other copilots because i thought it wasn't going forward but it simply created the copilot over here you simply just need to click on this copilot that you just recently created and you can start chatting with it now you can see there's a flows category or a tab over here that lets you select different types of steps you can create a new flow you can configure different settings record the knowledge base over here with all your data sources and these are some of the things that you can do with the new cloud dashboard this gives you a lot more customizable features and capabilities for you to play around with your own copilot. This is a new feature, uh, like a new set of features that we weren't able to see with this previous update. This gives you more flexibility to play around with your AI copilot, which can be adjusted to various different things so that you can implement it into your own workflow. Now, if you're interested in using this AI copilot, I highly recommend you read through the documentation. There is a lot of tutorials that can benefit you as to how you can implement your AI copilot in other areas. They also showcase different things such as flows. They introduced this new feature, which is flows, and it's something that they state that Open Copilot attempts to map the user's request to an endpoint automatically, and this works well for most simple case use cases. However, if your backend contains flows that are not straightforward or intuitive, you may need to define these flows. And this is something we saw previously. It lets you set these flows so that it can give you more flexibility as to how you can have your open copilot operate. You're able to create your flows and it gives you a tutorial as to how you can do this. It lets you customize your copilot. It gives you different embeddings for the copilot and lets you manage different copilots with different APIs. So definitely read through this if you're interested. But let's get to the next step of the video where I showcase how you can actually install this locally because many of us might would like to actually play around with this on our local desktop rather than on the cloud. Before we move forward with the installation, there's a couple of prerequisites that you'll need to have fulfilled. Firstly, you'll need Python, which is going to be your code editor. You'll need Git, which is going to help you clone the repository and VS Code to configure the files. Once you have these three things fulfilled, we can then move forward with the installation. What you will need to do is go onto the GitHub repository, which I'll leave all the links to in the description below. But once you are here, you want to click on this green button at the top of the page, copy the link of the repository, scroll back down. And then what you want to do is open up command prompt. Once you have this opened up, type in the command git clone, paste the link, click enter. This will start cloning the repository. It'll take a couple seconds, but in the meantime, what we can do is then take open up our open AI API key. What you want to do is get your key ready so that we can implement it into the actual files so that it can be operational. This requires your key so that it can generate and have the copilot functional. But once you have your key ready, we can move forward with the installation. Now, what you want to do next is open up Visual Studio Code after you have cloned the repository. What you want to do is open up the folder as to where you clone open copilot 
open this folder up and then go into the dot and file this is where we're going to start to implement our api keys that we're going to be using so once i'm over there i'll be right back and i'll showcase where you need to input it now what you want to do is go into the lm server folder once you have opened the breakdown you want to go onto the dot and dot example and this is where you're going to be inputting and configuring the different apis that you want to use you can see that there's various different things that you can use langchain for example pinecone as your vector storage database and the open ai api to use the gpt model so in this case you can specify what api you're going to be using from open ai as well as the api key so once you have set your key you can simply just click save and you want to just get rid of the dot example so then that you're going to be able to use all the api keys over here but once you have set all of this you can start off with the installation process so we'll get to the next step where i'll showcase what command you need to use to start installing it now after you configure the api keys that you're going to be using you can then move forward with the make install command and this is where you install the necessary dependencies and then you set up the open copilot project you're going to be then able to load this up on your local host and you can then go to the same user interface that we were playing around with previously you're going to be able to start playing around with this new dashboard that they have and you're going to be able to run their new planning agent which lets you have more efficiency in generating different types of contents with this new ai copilot but that's basically it for today's video guys i hope you got a lot of value out of this this is something that will definitely improve your productivity with your different types of products as this ai copilot is gonna help you in many different use cases whether that's debugging editing or generating different types of content but that's basically it for today's video i'll leave all these links in the description below make sure you check out world of ai on twitter if you guys haven't already and make sure you guys subscribe turn on notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos because there is a lot of content on this channel that you will definitely benefit from but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas